and shout and let it all out and scream and shout and let it out. We say it all. This is ACTV. Did you hear about my car, Maxine? No, what happened, Maxine? Her driver wasn't being very responsible. And why wasn't her driver focusing her attention on the road? I was texting. You were, you were texting? Why were you texting while you were driving, Drew? Maxine is the one that ran into the ditch. Probably because you were texting while driving. Well, she needs to be more responsible. You need to be more responsible. Why weren't you? There's this thing. It's got a blinker. You turn it on and you pull over on the side of the road. I know, Shelly. I know, but I'm going to be more responsible now because Maxine's all scratched up. I hope so because instead of your car being scratched up, it could have been you scratched up. I mean, 46% of teenagers actually mean that they text while driving. And we both know that it's way more than that that actually do it. Um, and most car crashes that teenagers get into is because they were texting. And most of their text messages were something stupid like okay or bye. And that can simply be said later. Your life can only be with once for a couple. That's true. I shouldn't text anymore and I plan on not texting anymore. Please don't because your life is true. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'm Jack Brown and I'm here with... Lycan. And... Carmen. And we're going to ask you all a few questions. All right, first question is, what president's on the $20 bill? I forgot already. I don't know. I don't know. You know I, think <laughs> I don't know. Andrew Jackson. Okay, next question's for you. Who fought the French and Indian War? Indians and French. French and Indians. French and Indians. No, it's the French and the Americans. But they're Indians. French American or no, basically. You said French and English. I know. Well, French and English. How long was the Hundred Year War? A hundred years. Hundred and sixteen years. I'm Austin here with. Audrey. All right. I got a few questions for you. Okay. Who is on the twenty dollar bill? A president. Which president? Thomas Jefferson. No. Try again. I don't know. Andrew Jackson. All right. How long was the Hundred Year War? A hundred years. Not really. Four years. How do you go from a hundred to four? Uh, I don't know. A hundred and sixteen years. Okay. And last one. Who fought the French and Indian War? The French and the Indians? Wrong. I don't know. God almighty. French and the American. Why are we called the Indians? Hi, I'm Devin Taft, and this week we have Student Spotlight with... Wade Whitley. Wade, rumor has it you won some award. What's the award? It was a um, 2013 Blue Collar Player of the Year. Um, what was this award for? It was for a football. It was about the unsung heroes on the football team. The players don't get a lot of spotlight. Um, I heard that a Hall of Famer presented this award to you. Tell us about it. Uh, the Miami Dolphins 1976 team that went undefeated. There was a player on there named Larry Zonka. He was a fullback, and he presented it to us. Uh, that's good. How do you think that you deserve this reward? Or what do you think you've done to make it make you more outstanding? Well, there was a bunch of players on the team this year, and all the teams that play, and they just – a lot of people that don't get a rec recognition on the team, they just deserve to get this award because like, they just don't get spotlight everybody else might get. Well, thank you, Wade. This has been Student Spotlight with Devin and Wade. This week in history, some very life-changing events happened. Well, let's go take a look. Abraham Lincoln got shot in the head on April 14, 1865. He died the following day. Slavery was abolished by the Emancipation Act. 3,000 slaves were freed. 
the first major anti-Vietnam War protest began. A lot of students were arrested. A suicide bomber destroyed the U.S. Embassy. So was a U.S. Marine Barrett. The American Revolution began. Eventually, Americans gained independence. Monday, April 15th, three bombs exploded in Boston, Massachusetts. One fire-related bomb exploded at the JFK Library, and two exploded at the finish line of the Boston Marathon. There were no injuries at JFK Library, but three were killed and 183 were injured at the Boston Marathon. Investigators have no suspects at this time. They have yet came to a conclusion of whether the attack was an act of domestic or foreign terrorism. I need some distraction. Good morning, Rebels and Lady Rebels. How are you today? This is Coach Parker for another edition of the Coach's Corner. Um, this week in Atkinson County Sports, we've had a lot of good things going on this week. Um, our soccer's played very well. Our baseball team's played well. We had our uh, region track this week, and there's a lot of great things going on here in Atkinson County. My special guest this week is our, our new head football coach. His name is Coach Kip Hall. Coach Hall, if you would come in and join us. Thank you so much for joining us on Coach's Corner. Coach Hall, tell us a little bit about yourself, please, sir. Uh, I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been uh, coaching uh, for close to 25 years. I've coached at the college level and high school level. All right, Coach Hall, you just mentioned you come from Atlanta, down here in the little old bitty Atkinson County. Tell us, how did you hear about this thing, and what made you come down here? Uh, just a challenge. Uh, I know that uh, Atkinson struggled over the last few years, and uh, I spent a lot of time in South Georgia, and uh, my goal was to move to South Georgia and retire down here. All right, Coach, um, one more thing here. Uh, we've got spring training for football coming up. Uh, what are our dates on spring training? And tell the people a little bit about what we're going to do at spring training and when they can do it and what they need to do to sign up. Uh, May 7th through the 18th, we're going to have the red-gray game on the 18th. Uh, also, we'll have a parent meeting at that time, so they'll get to meet uh, myself and the rest of the coaching staff. Uh, we're going to start off-season workouts next Monday after school, uh, promptly at 3 o'clock. Uh, just going to make sure we get everybody that has a physical and they're eligible to play. All righty, Coach. Once again, welcome to Atkinson County, and thank you for joining us on the Coach's Corner. Thank you, sir. And Atkinson County, y'all have a great Friday and enjoy your weekend. <laughs> If you want to learn about computers, and slash or the business field, maybe you need to take administrative slash information support pathway, which is computer apps one and two, business communications and presentation, and they're taught by Ms. Carver. If you want to be an engineer like me, then you need to take the engineering pathway, which is a class of the foundation of engineering and technology, engineering concepts, and engineering applications, and they're taught by Mr. Creer. If you want to be a welder like me, you can take the agricultural mechanics pathway. Those are classes of basic ag, ag mech 1, and ag mech 2, and they're taught by Mr. Rowland. If you want to be a nurse, like me, you can take the therapeutic services nursing pathway, which are all the classes from introduction to healthcare science, application of therapeutic services, and nursing essentials. They're all taught by Ms. Mills. Hello, NCTV. I'm Chef Boyardi, and I'm here with Ms. Smith. Ms. Smith, what career pathway do you teach? The nutrition and food science pathway. And what classes are they? The first one is nutrition and wellness. The second one is 
food nutrition across the lifespan, and the last one is food science. And what do the students learn and do in there? They learn about nutrition in the first one, and then about nutrition across the whole lifespan in the second one, and food science, we do some experiments with food in. Okay, do they seem to like it? They seem to. Most of them do. Some of them don't. Okay, thank you, Ms. Smith. I'm Chef Boardy with ACTV signing out. What are y'all doing in Mr. Rowland's class? Well, right now we're learning how to wire three-way switches. And how do you do that? Well, you have a three-way switch. It's not like a single pole switch where only one switch works a lot. You actually have two switches that will work the same light or receptacle or whatever you have it hooked to. That is very fascinating. Now, what are the other students doing with the chair? Well, I actually, I think that's Mr. Cribb's chair, and I think it was broke when he bought it, and we're fixing it for him. Huh? Did she come by and just say that? Or? That's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll rohel your aunt. Audrey. Okay, Audrey, I got a question for you. What word starts with E, ends with E, and contains one letter? A? No. Lay? No, try again. A letter? I don't know. Are you up? No, an envelope. Okay. Okay. What invention lets you see right through walls? Um. Say something else. <laughs> I don't know. A window. Uh, okay. I'm here with Miguel. Okay, Miguel, I got a question. First of all, why are you saying upside down? I'm practicing to be Batman. Okay. <laughs> what word starts with E, ends in E, and contains one letter? Hmm. The letter E. No. Try again. The Batmobile. No, try again. <laughs> I don't know what is it. Envelope. Ah. I'm Kelly and I'm here with... Lillian. Anna. Alright, so if you eat yourself, do you disappear or become twice as big? You... disappear? Okay, maybe. Why would you eat yourself? You're trapped on an island with nothing else to eat. There's got to be leaves. You're allergic to leaves. There's got to be animals. They all died. Your lips would still be there. Or your mouth. They're all dried up here and you're out of chapstick. I become twice as big, I guess. Okay, well... I'll leave it to you guys to find out.
inspiring true story of a teen surfer, Bethany Hamilton, who suddenly loses her arm in a shark attack. In national championships, Bethany bravely faces her fiercest rival. Then later she learned that only having one arm, she could still surf. Now let's go check out what Atco thought of this inspiring film, followed by a preview. Well, Surfer was an awesome and interesting movie. I thought it was a very good movie, but except for the part where she got her arm bitten by the shark, it was very sad, but all overall, it was a good movie. If you get tired waiting for the waves out there, just come and kick it with us. We don't have to wait for the action. Well, when you get tired of the pipe, come surf some real waves. Bethany Hamilton is holding nothing back. Looks like she has a real future. And with her heart, her will, she'll go far. Thursday night's a full moon. We're all gonna go surfing. Sorry, Mom. I really wanted to go night surfing. Would you have let me go? No. I don't know. Can you believe we get to come out here every day? Hold on one more. Teenage girl from the North Shore. Shark attack. Traumatic amputation. She's going into hypovolemic shock. The things that you're going to have to learn to do differently is extensive. I can't do this anymore. So what do we do now? We'll take it day by day. I don't understand. I don't know why terrible things happen to us sometimes, but I have to believe that something good is going to come out of this. What's all this stuff? A little fan mail. We sorted it out by country. There's an eighth grader from North Carolina who lost his arm. He's going to try out for a school soccer team because of me, and he's rooting for me in my next competition. Hey, Dad. I need your help. It's not going to be easy. I don't need easy. I just need possible. The greatest surfers. They know when the best waves are coming. You feel it. You have that gift, too. When you come back from a loss, when you beat the odds and never say never, you find a champion.